JavaScript is a cross-platform object-oriented scripting language which you can use to develop various kind of applications. These days, JavaScript is everywhere. It is running on your phone, it is running on your servers, and it is running right inside your desktop environment and in your web browsers. So the opportunities of getting a development job or development gig using JavaScript are endless. Hence, I have decided to create a course regarding how to learn JavaScript. So this is that course. Before we start, a little disclaimer that I am by no means a JavaScript expert. I've been writing JavaScript on and off for like three years, but I have recently learned JavaScript in depth because I thought that the opportunities are getting even more and more bigger in recent scenarios. So that's why I learned it and I'm still exploring a lot more about JavaScript these days. So this is the journey where I will be teaching you guys that whatever I am discovering and whatever I have learned regarding JavaScript from the very basics to the very advanced topics in JavaScript. So in this video, we will talk about how you can get started right away using JavaScript and develop some programs using JavaScript. So let's get started and we need to get over to my laptop so that I can demonstrate how you can get started with JavaScript. So let's get to it. So we are at my laptop now and I'm going to demonstrate the procedure on Ubuntu. If you don't have any idea about what Ubuntu is, please refer to my previous video where I have talked about how you can get started with Ubuntu operating systems and how you can actually set them up for your developer journey. So we have two basic ways to get started with JavaScript on our systems. First one is a way where you don't even have to download any application or software to try JavaScript on your computers. The thing is your web browser. You can have Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. Most of you guys must be using Google Chrome. So uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the procedure using Google Chrome. So launch your Google Chrome and press Control Shift J. It is a shortcut for launching developer console which is built in right into your web browser. So here you can try out JavaScript like you can start writing JavaScript and it will immediately output whatever uh, program you know uh, you throw at it. So let's test whether JavaScript is working or not. If you don't know JavaScript at this point please don't be worried because I will be explaining you everything about JavaScript. The whole point of demonstrating this is that that how can we actually write JavaScript programs and test them, right? So this is one such way. So let's try out some JavaScript, defining a variable here. Okay, and let's see. Okay, and we are going to write function, then take name. Okay. So the thing is that here you have to write whole of the program in one entire line without any line breaks or you can use shift to uh, create a new line like this. Like I have pressed the upper arrow key to get to the previous command and then I am going to press shift and enter. So I am on the next line. Now I will be returning name here and again. Uh, Okay, so that is our uh, small function. Now we are going to test it. And we are going to pass an argument Rajat. And let's print using the console log command. What's the value of J? So here it is, guys. We have just uh, written our very first JavaScript program without even installing anything and write into our web browsers. So this is one such way. The other way is to install an independent software that is Node.js, which uh, is a JavaScript compiler offered by Google. Okay, so we are going to, inst uh, for that we need to install Node.js or our Ubuntu systems first. So let's get started with that. So for that, you need to launch terminal. So write terminal 
okay now we are into the terminal now here you have to write sudo apt install sorry install node js and it will download this much of archives so it is going to take a while now while node.js is getting installed let's talk about what node.js is node.js is a platform uh, which is you know a packaged version of chrome's javascript engine uh, which is packaged as a independent software and offered as a standalone binary so that you can write highly efficient network uh, network based applications using the software so basically it's the chrome's engine which we have used to write programs in our chrome web browser and it is just being offered as a standalone solution so that is node.js is all about okay so now that we have installed node.js on our systems let's try to write a simple program much in a similar way as we have written in google chrome so let's launch node.js and once you get to see this prompt uh, it is the signal that we are inside node.js repl okay so let's try to write the same program here like for js function then take name as a parameter now here you don't have to press shift enter to get to the next line because it's a standalone uh, program and the authors of this program have already handled that case for us so just press enter to get to the next line okay now return the same argument and that's it we have defined a function for ourselves okay now let's test that function by passing near and let's print the value of j so here it is guys we have just written ourselves a little program and we have started with javascript you can say that now you know how to write uh, a simple program in javascript so that is it guys for this episode in the next episode we are going to talk about the types in javascript